Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I wanted to talk about my top product discoveries of 2019. So I did this video last year. I had five products to talk about that I discovered in the year of 2018 that really like transformed how I did my makeup, the products that I was loving, and so I actually just did a video, well it's been a few weeks ago now, that I like retouched on those products to see how I still felt about them. And so if you're interested in that, I will link that video up above. But today, I wanna to talk about the products from 2019. I have seven things to talk about. Yeah, seven things to talk about. And some of these are a specific product, while there is a few things that are more of like, a general thing, like, just a general kind of product, really, stuck out to me. So I'm gonna go in order of like least favorite to most favorite, um, but all of these are like things that I love and totally enjoy. But my order of importance kind of went on like the aspect of how much it impacted my life, if that makes sense. Does that sound dramatic? Maybe. At number seven, is something that was like a general product. I have a few products to share, but just like a general thing, I loved like golden peachy highlights this year. And I have three to share with you. I don't really know what it is, but I got all three of these products this year and they're all very similar to each other. Like the color is super similar, but there is like some differences and I reach for them different ways but I love them. And like, this has been my favorite highlight color as of late. Um, I'm not wearing any of these today because I was doing a Project Pan recap for the year of 2019, so I was wearing some of those products. But I have worn these products so much this year. The first one, this is probably the one that I use the least. This is from Artist Couture, and I got this in BoxyCharm. This is the Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Summer Haze. And so it's just a nice little loose highlight powder. And I honestly don't normally like loose powders um, for highlight. One, they're just hard to use. And two, I feel like the consistency is really strange with them. But this one is beautiful. So it's gonna, I'm gonna try and show it to you here. I love this. I don't know, there is just something about this color and you'll notice this in my other products that I mention, but it's just like, originally I wrote this down as like golden, and I was trying to figure out like a better term to describe this kind of color, and I feel like it's just like this like peachy highlight. There's like a pinkiness to it, but not like a champagne pink or like a cool tone pink, but like a peachy pink. And this one is probably the most subtle out of the three highlights I'm gonna talk about. So this one is the one I use if I want something that's a little bit more subtle and maybe I'm not like too worried about hurrying through my makeup that day because this definitely isn't a formula that you can just like toss on. You kinda of gotta take your time with it. But it is extremely beautiful. The one that I probably wore the most is from Pretty Vulgar, and again, this is something I got in BoxyCharm, but this is the Shimmering Swan Highlight in the shade Glow Up. And this packaging is adorable, but the highlight in here is just stunning. Like, this is what really started it for me. This was the first one I got of these three. And this one is, like, kind of like my everyday highlight. Like, I reach for this one so much. So this one's a little bit more intense than the last one. So this was the first... This is the Pretty Vulgar one, and then this was the Artist Couture one. And so this one's a little bit more golden, um, where the other one is a little bit more like peachy. Um, but this one is still, it's just beautiful. And there's something about it, it almost has like a, like a pink reflect to it that's really not showing up on camera, I feel like, but it's stunning. And this was like game changer for me this year. And then the last one, um, this is probably the most recent of the three that I got. This is the Fenty Beauty Hustla Baby Highlight. And I just have the little sample size of this. I got it with the lip gloss uh, from Sephora. And this, again, it's just like that like peachy golden kind of color. It's almost just like a skin tone color. But there's just something about this one. This one is probably the most intense and maybe even a little bit more 
golden jeez oh, I don't know they're all so similar though like this one I feel like is probably the lightest in color and really just like blends into my skin this one's got almost like a pinky purple is that weird like a pinky purple like undertone to it and then this one's more of like a peachy toned but all of them once you apply to the face are very similar but there was just something about this kind of color and highlight this year that I feel like just totally transformed the way I did my makeup and I feel like it really came through in the summer and I started going for a more like bronzed golden kind of vibe and I was loving it the sixth thing is also like an overarching kind of thing and it's texture sprays so this isn't a makeup product but for your hair like I just I cut my hair at the beginning of November and so I feel like that's not all of 2019 but I feel like I've just gone on this hair journey since where I've just been rediscovering products rediscovering how I want to do my hair how I style my hair and um, today I don't I don't really know what's going on I took a shower earlier and just let my hair kind of like do its thing for a while and then I just tried styling it and so it turned out a little weird but you know what we're gonna go with it still but something that I've been loving is texture sprays and this is something that I've never really used in the past I don't know why because I have very fine thin hair and so I feel like texture sprays would like do a lot for me so I wanted to talk about a few products that really stuck out to me. The first product is something that I've talked about before. I talked about this in my most recent favorites video. This is the Unite Texturiza Spray. And this is the best texture spray I've ever used. Um, this is what like pulled me into this kind of product. When I got my hair done, she used this texture spray on me. I don't have anything in my hair bar right now, by the way. I'm just going to add a little bit. And I don't usually add it like that, but I also don't normally have my hair straight. I usually have it curly and I like add a bunch. But when I got my hair cut, she used this in my hair after she styled it. And I was like blown away. Like the style lasted for like three days. It looked beautiful. My hair looked like it had like volume and texture, which it normally doesn't on its own. And so I was just like, okay, what did you use on my hair? I need to buy that because it was fantastic. And this is what it was. It is a pricey product. It's like $30. So I've been using it sparingly, but it's beautiful. The other ones I thought I'd mention, um, this one's a little bit newer to me and it's just like a sample one, but it's the AG Hair Care Tousled Texture and this one is actually like a body and shine finishing spray. So the Unite one doesn't add any shine, almost makes your hair look more matte. This one does add a little bit of shine and this one's really nice as well. I feel like it does add some nice like volume and like texture to your hair. I'll usually use this one on like day two. The Unite one I just use on day one of styling. It just adds this texture to like my clean hair that my hair just needs. I use this one on day two or later because I don't care as much about it and it's not like as expensive. And so, um, but this one's really nice. It does add some nice texture. And the last one I thought I would mention, this is the Kristen S. Dry Finish Working Texture Spray. And this is another sample size one. This one you can get at Target, which is why I thought I would mention it. Um, I think this is like $4.99 for this size, but I think the full size is like $9.99, so not super expensive. And this one's okay. This is like another one that I only use on like day two or three, and just to like after I kind of like restyle my hair a little bit. Um, not that I like use heat after day one, I don't. I just kind of like maybe like comb down my roots a little bit or like tease it a little bit and then I'll just add this just like everywhere. Just like and I feel like it helps. And so this one I thought I'd mention just because it's easily accessible and more on the affordable side. But it's definitely not my favorite, but it's okay. Number five is a specific product. So now we're on to a specific product. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. And it's so funny. I've been putting together this list for like a few weeks now. And this was definitely a product that I knew like in December when I was like, oh yeah, I need to probably do like a favorites of some sort. 
this was like the first product that came to my mind. And it's so funny because I feel like I've seen a lot of favorites videos come around and so many people have talked about this mascara and I felt like I never heard anyone talk about it this year. I don't even think I really talked about it. And then all of a sudden, like now at the end of the year, it's like, oh, this one's my favorite mascara. And I was like, that's kind of funny because that's exactly what I'm doing. But this is fantastic. I don't know if I've ever used a drugstore mascara that I've really enjoyed more than this. So this one is a little bit old. I just, I did just get a new one today. Um, but the wand on this is a little large but it's great. I don't usually like wands like this. Like this is almost like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but maybe not as bulky, but it's pretty big and it's like a little bit hourglass shaped. But this, I don't know, there's just something about this. It adds a lot of volume, adds some length, it layers well, and then it wears beautifully throughout the day. I definitely have issues with like transferring or I always have mascaras flake on me and this one has not done that to me yet. And so I love this one and it's like seven bucks. Back to like a generic theme. For number four, I wanna talk about some serums. So I feel like 2019 was kind of like the year of skincare for me. I feel like I've been trying a lot of new skincare. I've been trying to like figure out some of the things that I really like, things I don't enjoy. And I feel like I got really into serums this year and these are two of my favorites. So I thought I would mention them. And these are also both available at Target. This is the Bliss Renew and Smooth Glycolic Polyhydroxy Acid night serum and this is just like a really nice serum to use at night i think the biggest thing that i noticed with this and using it consistently is just like helping with uneven tone of my skin i definitely have like some acne scarring and just like discoloration my skin is very sensitive and so my skin will just like flare up with like a random spot and all of a sudden it'll just be like a dark spot for a long time and I feel like this really helps with that. I don't really know. I think glycolic acid helps with that. I don't know. I'm not like a genius when it comes to skincare. I'm still figuring things out. But I feel like this helped. I also have a day serum from Bliss. It's like the counterpart to this. Um, but it is more of like a moisturizing product. This isn't moisturizing, but it is really nice. The other one I think I like even better. This is from Urban Skin RX, which... They just started carrying this in Target. Like, I got this... I got this, like, end of summer, probably, and I feel like they just put it out. This is the Retinol Rapid Repair in Dark Spot Treatment. This stuff is fantastic. Like, I love this. It does say... So it says it's supposed to improve uneven skin tone and blemishes. And again, it's got retinol in it. So if you've never used retinol before, retinol is pretty intense. I don't know the percentage on this. I know I used to use Retin-A Micro like in high school and like college and I used like the 0.05%, I think, or maybe it was like the 0.1%, I don't know. It's a low amount, um, but it's just like a really strong ingredient that kind of is like a, like a chemical peel a little bit and so it does say if you have sensitive skin to only use this like three or four times a week um i use it every night because or i either use this or the bliss one every night um i feel like i do have sensitive skin but i feel like i've also built up like an immunity to retinol products so like my skin doesn't it doesn't affect it too much i do use like a nice moisturizer after using this and in the mornings and you do want to wear spf with this any retinol product you want to use spf i mean you should be using spf anyways but if you're using like a retinol product you definitely want to use an spf because it makes your skin very sensitive to sun um, but this honestly, it was like one of my favorite products this year. And this was from Target. I don't remember how much this is. I want to say it's like closer to like the $30 range, not super expensive, but kind of more than I thought it was going to be. Um, as well, the Bliss one I think was like 20 ish. Number three is another specific product. This is the Flower Beauty Bubble Brow. This is fantastic. I discovered this 
through Mariah Leonard here on YouTube. I love her content and I feel like when she recommends products, I typically like them. She does have a different skin type than I do. She has like a more dry skin, but she does have acne prone skin, which I do as well, but mine's a little bit more of like combo to oily. But usually the products that she talks about, I enjoy. This was one of those products. This is so good. It's a little tricky to use and that you need some water. So I do my makeup like at my vanity in my room. I don't have a sink in my room because it's my room. Um, but you have to get the little like, you have to get the little spoolie wet and then dip it in the product to where it like, it almost like suds up. It's like a little soap bar, but it's tinted. And then you comb it through your brows and it holds your brows in place fantastic. Like, I, it's so good. I love it so much. Um, the last time I talked about this, I went to link it and discovered I couldn't find it anywhere. And I got very scared that it's discontinued, which I'm, it might be. I don't know. I think this was like an Ulta exclusive product. Like, they only carried this at Ulta. I looked online at Ulta, they don't have it anymore online, but I was in an Ulta the other day and they had it, and so I don't know if they're like phasing it out or something, but I feel like I need to run and buy another one because I'm afraid to run out of it because I like it that much. So maybe if you want this, go and see if you can find it at an Ulta because it's worth the $10. In the number two spot, is another generic product. This is bronzers. Bronzer has always been one of those things that I could kind of like take it or leave it. Like I enjoyed bronzers and I thought that it looked good on the skin. I thought it brought some life to my skin. But this year, I don't know what it was, but all of a sudden I just like needed bronzer. Like I just wanted to have this like bronzed, sun-kissed look. And I don't have that naturally because I'm quite pale. And so I ended up buying this bronzer from Revolution. This is the Vivid Baked Bronzer. Now I had a little fiasco with this product because it broke on me. And I was very sad because I had literally just bought it. I have just the pan here because I tried repressing it and it broke again and so I have a little bit of product in here that I use like a few times a week and I just like swirl my brush in it and I am using it up until it's all gone because I loved it that much. Um, but this is also discontinued. Thanks. But I do think, so Revolution now, I'm so confused by all of their stuff. Once was Makeup Revolution. Now they have like different lines of their brand. And so they have this like pro line, I think. And they have a bronzer that looks suspiciously similar to this, except that it is way more expensive. I bought this, when I bought this, it was on clearance and I didn't even know it because it was, I guess, going out of stock, which I didn't know until I got up to the counter and paid for it and it was like $2.99. I think it was like $6 regularly or something, so not expensive by any means. But this is no longer available, and the one they do have now I think is like $10. So again, not terrible. But I just don't want to fork over the cash to see if it's the same. But I loved this bronzer. This stuff was fantastic. Since breaking it, I have tried to replace it. So I thought I would share with you my bronzer fiasco of 2019. This happened like summertime. I wanted that bronzer. So I looked for that bronzer everywhere I could find. And when I could not find it, I just started buying lots of bronzer. The first one I bought was this e.l.f. bronzer. And this is the like sun-kissed bronzer. It was like $2. It's fine. I use it occasionally. Um, I, it's, it's okay. I like it. But I feel like I bought another one too and I don't know what happened. I feel like I bought another bronzer that failed and I didn't end up using it. But then I found this Laura Geller face, eyes, and cheeks palette. I got this at a Marshalls actually when I was home in California in August. And 
This is beautiful. So stunning. I use this so much. So I originally bought it because of this product. This is kind of what that Revolution bronzer looked like. So I was on the hunt for like a baked bronzer. I feel like it's just not something a lot of brands make anymore. I feel like I used to be able to find baked bronzers all over the planet and now they're not available. So when I saw this, I was immediately drawn to it and knew I had to have it. I thought this was gonna be the bronzer. This isn't a bronzer. This is actually like an all over body bronzer. It does work as a face bronzer. It's just a little shimmery. This one is actually the bronzer, which is actually funny. I feel like it doesn't look like a bronzer, but it looks stunning on the skin. And then you have two blushes, two highlights, and then like a few eyeshadows that I never ever use. But the face products in here, love to death. And then I rediscovered one of my favorite bronzers. This is from Bare Minerals, and this is the all over face powder in warmth. This stuff is an oldie, but such a goodie. I used this product in high school. Not this exact one, I've gotten a few since then. But this stuff is fantastic. The only thing is that it is quite pigmented, and so I just have to go in a little sparingly, a little bit more precise, but this stuff looks phenomenal on the skin, and so I just thought I would mention it. It wasn't a discovery of 2019, but, bronzers were like my life in 2019 for some reason and I I love them. And finally, in number one is the Lush Naked Skin Care. So I do have a few specific favorites that I want to share with you, but just in general, like I've tried I think all of the Lush Naked Skin Care products and I enjoy all of them, but these are my favorite. But, this was probably the most game-changing product for me, specifically this year. One, I think it's fantastic to have a product that is a solid and has no packaging. You can travel with it, you don't have to like put it in a Ziploc container, you don't have to like make sure it's under a certain size, keep it in your carry-on. It eliminates all of that, so when I travel, I take these things because it just like eliminates so many larger products I have to take and honestly I like these even better. So the ones I want to share with you, a cleanser, I'm going to have to bust out the app because I do not remember what these things are called. This one, this is one of the solid cleansers and this is the sleepy face cleanser. This one is relatively new but like the design is all worn off because there was like a little sleepy face on here and it was really cute but this is phenomenal. I think I'm going to do a video soon of like how to use these products. I have definitely talked about these products and I've talked about how to use them, um, but I want to do like a get unready with me where you see me use these because I feel like all of these products are severely underrated and not talked about enough. I said it already, these were like the most game changing products for me this year. This is like an all in one cleanser, makeup remover. And it's so simple. You literally just rub it on your face, all over, not wet. Take your hands, rub your face, rub your eyes, get all the makeup removed, take a hot towel, and it's gone. And it's fantastic. The other one, this is another cleanser. This one actually doesn't totally disintegrate, so like that one, when you use it, you just use it until it's no more. It's like a bar of soap. This one does have like a little bit of like a center piece to it, but it's like a compostable little thing. This is the seven to three cleanser. This is like, I use it similarly. So I actually get this wet. This has like almost like little scrubby bits to it. So I don't use this every night, but I use it maybe like every other night if I feel like I need a little bit more of a cleanser after that initial cleanse with the solid cleansing thing. Um, but this I'll get wet and then just run it over my face and it just provides such a nice gentle but like deep clean and it smells great. It's like a really nice light scent um, and it works fantastic and then again I just take like a hot 
wet towel and wipe it away. The last product that is maybe my favorite, this is the Amazon Primer. This is what they call a naked face oil. So this is like a moisturizer. Um, again, you just, after you do all your cleansing and if you wanna apply a serum or whatever, you take this, rub it on your face, and then just rub it into your skin. And it's like the most perfect amount of moisturization. Um, all of these products, I could just sing their praises all day. They are quite affordable as well. This moisturizer is $12.95. The cleansing balm is $5.95. And the 7 to 3 cleansing pad is $3.95. Now, this product usually lasts me about three months, which is a long time. This lasts closer to like six months. And this is technically like five uses. I feel like I usually get like two weeks of use out of it. <sighs> these are so good. Like, these are fantastic. I've talked about these a few times throughout the year, and I feel like if you haven't tried Lush Naked Skin Care yet, get some. I feel like every time I've gone into a Lush to like look at them, or like if one of the employees recommend me something, I've hated it. I don't really know why. I just haven't liked their recommendations, even if they're like, what kind of skin do you have? What are you looking for in a product? I feel like they get it wrong every single time. So if you have normal to combination skin, just get the products that I say, because you will love them. So those were all the products that like really changed the way I did my makeup this year, that changed the way I did my hair, my skincare, and I feel like 2019 was a good year for all of those things. I feel like I looked back on um, kind of like the last few years of like makeup and hair and I feel like I've just gotten better and better. Is that weird to say? Is that fair? I feel like yes. And I just like my routine now. And so I feel like a lot of these products have played a very important role in that. If you have something that you can just like not live without that you discovered this year, I would love to hear about it down below. Make sure to leave those recommendations. I love hearing about what you guys enjoy. But that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would love to have you around. And until next time, bye guys.